Hello guys and welcome to a little series uh, I would like to call um, the complete guide to medieval engineering. Uh, well, I don't know how complete it would be. I'm basically going to show you all how to research uh, and how to do the different research. Just yeah, okay. So uh, well, first off, when you start in uh, the game, you just bought it, you downloaded it, and want to get started. <clears throat> So you will be greeted with this screen uh, once the game has fully loaded up. Um, then you can click a new world, load world if you have one already, join world if you want to play multiplayer, options, credits, so, you know, the guys who made the game, and exit to windows. Um, yeah, it's self express So we will click, uh, well if you already have a world you will be greeted with this continue button. Where I have my private shit. Yeah. Okay, but uh, now we will start a new world. So, you can see the screen. Uh, it's uh, called Safe Area Start uh, and then the date and the time. Uh, there's also the Wild Start, which um, is just a whole new planet with uh, different uh, dungeons and stuff, like uh, NPC uh, structures. There's also an empty planet where there's nothing. Uh, I don't know if there are animals. I would not presume there would be, but um, there could be. I don't know. It's perfect for modding. If you want to have some a lot a lot of mods. World, yeah. Okay. Uh, the safe area is just a, a little house you spawn in, and uh, you can use that to just explore the world basically and get a good uh, feel for it. Um, I think for this uh, to this um, guide, uh, we will use this and we will call it the full guide. So here you can choose the game mode you want to play in, the creative where you have everything, um, and the spectator mode. Uh, in survival, you just survive. You know, you can uh, choose to make it uh, for friends, public, or offline. Uh, private and offline is basically the same thing, I would say. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. Um, oh, it, oh, and you don't need internet, apparently. You do that for private, I presume, then. <clears throat> okay. You can also choose to play with friends or with public. Where friends, you just need to invite your friends and they'll join. And public, everyone can join. Can join. Um, okay, then we have the max player count, which goes all the way up to 100 if your PC and internet can handle it, or else you just need to like adjust it to how many friends you'd want to join. Then you have the autosave, it's uh, how long uh, between every autosave, 30 minutes or like uh, the like basic 5 minutes, default 5 minutes. Then you have the mods, I currently don't have any mods installed, but if you have they will um, appear here. You can get the mods from the workshop. You also have the advanced settings where you can choose the play inventory, the maximum backup saves, uh, spectator mode, uh, which is default in the uh, creative, uh, the day duration, season duration, and solar altitude, how far the sun is from the planet you are on. The max objects is uh, how many loose objects are in the world. Uh, max maximum fracture pieces is how many pieces a uh, wall can break up into. The resource decay is uh, how if you harness a um, a rock, no, minor rock. Um, this is how long it uh, would take for it to um, dis uh, despawn. Phantom castle decay is a uh, I presume if you build a uh, castle or a house. It, uh, it, this is how long it will take for it to disappear or despawn, which is a weird option. I... Yeah, I don't know. You can uh, turn on and off ruin decay and uh, structural integrity. Structural integrity. Sorry, holy shit. Okay. Um, which uh, means uh, that the uh, stuff can break, like you see here. Um, the maximum NPCs and animals, 10. That seems a little few, but oh well. 
Uh, and then you can turn on and off enemies, a hostile AI. There's fast travel as a standard. Travel limitation is a standard. Oh, ah. It's just uh, if you have to be on a road to fast travel, you can check this off if you just want to travel everywhere you are. But yeah. Um, the travel cooldown is how often you can travel between every travel. Travel, travel. And the maximum travel distance. But a sta by standard, it's uh, infinite. I don't know what it measures. Uh, I think it's 300 chunks. I don't know. Oh well, but this is the basic settings. Then you would uh, want to um, generate this world. Just press OK. And this screen will be shown for approximately, I don't know, what. Well, for my computer, it takes maybe 10 minutes, maybe less, 8 minutes. So it takes a while, but um, I'll be right back when uh, it's done. Okay, so now that you have loaded up this world, it asks you if you want to skip the tutorial. That is, if you already have completed the tutorial. This is here. You have already completed the tutorial before. Or set the settings to ask before starting. Do you want to start the tutorial again? Here I'm going to say yes because I want you to show the I want to show you the tutorial. So you'll start in this world. And looks pretty nice, you know. Too bad. And um if you look up in the left upper corner, it says tutorial, the humble beginnings. And then it greets you. And uh, then you get some uh, objectives. You have to gather one small stone. I have a pair of four here. I'm going to pick up by pressing F. And then three wooden sticks. You can collect them by just going up to a small tree and press F. Then it's done. Then you can press I to enter your crafting menu or your inventory. And a double click to craft. By default, it's already selected down here, but if you don't have it selected, or well, if you don't have the icons on here, like this, you can just take it and drag it down. Now it asks me to find the marked all wing, and it's right over here. Obtain two log it. I'm going to find the nearest tree, and in chipping down. You have to keep your distance because you do take damage if that tree would land on you. And that is not supposed to happen. Let's go over here and just begin. There you go. Then you just collect the things by pressing F. There we go. Um, I suppose you can also drag the uh, lock. Yeah. Right mouse. Oh well, it won't let me. Oh yeah, yeah, there you go. So you can drag uh, around with the the things you find and cut down. Okay. Now it says to me that I have tells me to craft a crafting table. Take some time. Some items are easier to craft and uh, take less time. Then you just uh, place it. If you do this, uh, oh, okay, you can do this one. But normally there will be a white square around your items, which means they will be locked in place into the world. But if you can just move it around like this, that means you can just drop it like it. And it will fall. You can uh, pick up an item if you uh, if it fell over or you just place it wrong by holding down if. And 
place it again. And I don't know where the fuck it is. There we go, okay. Much better. Alright, now it tells me to obtain one more lock. So I'm going to three again and start. As you can see, the lock the locks fill quite a bit in your inventory. Because they don't stack. So every lock you chop down, every space is keep being filled up in your inventory. So that's why I don't just take the whole tree down. Now it tells me to craft two timber. So by having the crafting table here, I have to move some items down into the crafting table inventory. So that it can use these items for crafting. So that you don't use, um, like... Unwanted things to craft with. It's pretty smart, in my opinion. Nice. That tells me to craft a bit. So every time the crafting table crafts something, it uh, automatically puts it over into the crafting table inventory. Craft this. Boom. Okay. Now, uh, oh, the wall just. Okay, so now you have this bed, which you can just place in around the world. I'll place it over here. Okay. <clears throat> when you place down your bed, you have to claim it. Then it says what your name is, who who's the owner of this bed, and every time you die, you will spawn in this bed. Also, every time you join the world. Okay. So now you have to. Now it tells me to craft four timber. So I'll just go over and chop down another piece. There we go. For every lock, uh, there's four timber. Nice. Grab the chest. Place this just right. There you go. Now, craft one small stockpile for timber. And as you can see, I have exactly four timbers here. There we go. Craft one mallet. Or log. Just needs. So you can just uh, take one time to see the recipe. And I need. Timber can... oh. So now you can craft them. And it tells me to place one board. Uh, in here. So this is the... Yeah. Oh, there it is, yeah. Okay. So these are, uh, like, um, buildable, um, Structures, you'll have to place these into the world and uh, then um, do a then just build around it with your mallet. You place it down and it places this skeleton. Then you'll take your mallet and just hammering that.
you can make more advanced mods um, later into the game uh, by using uh, by using um, irons and stuff. Bills. That's what it's. So um yeah. This. So you'll you always want to have some materials on you so that you can make something. Or just have them in stock, like the timber stockpile over there. Here. The stockpile works this way that nothing else than timber can be stored in here. And when you do, it's played like this. Pretty neat. But yeah. There we go. Okay. So now... I need to make a campfire. So I'll go collect. Well, actually, I'll leave this episode here. We've covered the basics tutorial at least. Uh, next up, we'll do the food tutorial, uh, where we will, where I will show you how to make a uh, first food item. Uh, the rest will come later. Yeah. See you guys, and thanks for.